The trail bike is the most versatile type of mountain bike and represents probably the best value you're going to get on a mountain bike. Uh, you can build them nice and light and they're versatile for all day long riding. Equally, you can build them a bit tougher and hang out in the bike park with your mates. Uh, you can pretty much do anything you want on a trail bike. And as such, you could compare them to the Swiss Army knife. In today's video, we're going to look at the hottest trail bikes right now. As mountain biking has evolved, so have the categories within it. You can actually get quite confused with the different amounts of mountain bikes available. Now, the trail bike shares a lot in common, really, with the enduro bike, which is a bigger travel, more burly beast, except it's just better for all round riding. So you're going to see travel varying from 130 to 150 mil, uh, give or take, and wheels of both sizes, so 27.5 and 29. Now, the trail bike ultimately is designed for fast paced woodland riding, but it's quite happy hanging out in the mountains. That's right, and while the trail bike may seem like it's somewhere in the middle of the scale of mountain biking, trail biking kind of has its own scale as well. On the lighter side, a trail bike can seem like it's quite close to a long travel downcountry bike, but it's definitely more oriented towards descending. And while on the heavier side, it may seem like it's close to an enduro bike, and you can certainly spec up some of these to race your local enduro bike, uh, enduro race, but they also have suspension that is a little more efficient, maybe a bit more progressive and more responsive too. Okay, so first up then, we're gonna kind of start with middle of the road here. Now we're going in with a Trek Fuel EX. Now, it might not scream out as one of like the hottest bikes out there, but actually what you get for your money in terms of performance, value, geometry and options is just outstanding. Uh, and that to me, makes for a really hot bike. Right, so the Fuel EX, currently, uh, you can get it in Gen 5 and Gen 6 models. In the Gen 5, there's 10 different models. Pricing ranges from 2,600 up to 8,600, but it's the Gen 6, which has just been newly released. Uh, this one you can see on screen. Now this bike, subtle branding on there, incredible geometry and options available to you, uh, it's got to be in this list. Right, so there's going to be a load of shots of different colour options available. So right now there's five different models, uh, there's two frame sets available, uh, carbon and alloy there. Uh, you've got adjustable geometry on them, so you've got an adjustable headset cup on there, so you can fine tune on there. Uh, you've got the Mino link on there as well, so there's actually six configurations with the geometry you can choose for the way you want to ride. And as far as I'm aware, there's not many options in the trail bike world that actually offer this much on a production bike. So extra small and small sizes on 27 and a half inch wheels, small and upwards on 29 inch wheels, but you can also set it up mullet style with the smaller rear wheel should you want. So it's all about options with Trek. Uh, and I think this is really cool that they do this. Uh, you've got the old sandwich pocket on the down tube there, so put what you want in there, tools and stuff. And it's the Trek classic single pivot design using an active braking pivot uh, with that linkage rocker that drives the shock there on the seat tube. Now they've also got size specific components on this as well, which is another really cool thing. So the dropper post, on the extra small and small, you've got 100 mil drop. On the medium and medium large, 150 mil drop on the large 170 and XL 200. And then bars are 820 mil on all sizes, so you can trim them down to the length that you want rather than having options of different size bars. And you get a 35 mil stem on the extra small and the small, and everything else a 45 mil stem. There's seven sizes available. Geometry in the most neutral position. Head angle, you're looking at 64 and a half. Seat angle, 71. Chain stays from 435 up to 450. Uh, so nice and long at the big end and a bit shorter at the small end. Reach from 400 to 545. Absolutely massive on the big end there. Uh, and the models range from 5,200 to 12,500. Uh, that's in pounds sterling. Uh, there's European and American options directly on their website. And a frame, 2,600 and 4,400 alloy and carbon. Uh, all about options to track. If you can't decide, check them out. Now this may be a brand you haven't heard of before, but SCORE actually derived from a bunch of designers that came from BMC, and they're obviously making some seriously innovative XC bikes right now, aren't they? Um, now the designers came up with an idea of a trail bike, but it didn't quite fit with BMC, so now they've started their own label, and I think they look 
absolutely gorgeous, so check these out. Um, they are full carbon frames, 29 inch wheels, but you can set them up as mullet. You've got 140 millimeters in the rear, 150 up front, and they are coil compatible. And check out that low slung suspension system with the linkage just behind the bottom bracket uh, with another driving the shock. Um, it just looks so clean and slick and the travel can be adjusted uh, to turn it into the longer travel mode. So we're looking at the 4060 ST, the short travel here, but you can change it into the LT if you want to. There's a flip chip in there as well, just to change up the geometry and adjust the wheel sizing. Four sizes available. The geometry we're looking at is a head tube angle of 65.5 degrees, which might sound steep to you, uh, but the Mondrake Array seems to be doing all right. You quite like that, didn't you, Daddy? Yeah, I really like it. Um, and a nice seat angle of 78 degrees, chain stays 433 millimeters, and the reach will be dependent on size, obviously, reaching from 436 millimeters up to 516. So it's not short, it's not Definitely not a down country bike. Um, it comes with the SRAM UDH and the builds include a GX model at 6,899 euros, uh, an NX model at 4,899 um, euros, and then the frame is 2,999. And I just love the clean, unbranded look and those colors are stunning. You like that uh, yum gum, don't you? I do, I don't know how to describe <laughs> it. It's kind of fleshy hearing aid color, but it's something about Much it's, better than whoa. that. Yeah, it's really nice, yeah, for sure. Okay, next up, a bit of an unusual one, I think some people might think, is the Vitus Mythique. So this is a brand new bike. Um, just to confirm, it's not Vitus, it's technically it's Vitus. Um, but the new company likes to say is Vitus. So originally it was a French brand that made high-end steel road bikes, basically, and the famous Irish racer, Sean Kelly, made the brand really iconic. Uh, and now it's owned by an Irish team and they're kind of, they've taken it back. And incidentally, Sean Kelly is um, a brand ambassador for them. So Vitus Bikes Now, what they specialize in is giving you the best possible bike and they don't cut any corners in the way that they do this. Now, unlike many other brands that have massive marketing budgets for all sorts of stuff like race teams and that, they don't spend any of that money there. Uh, all they're doing is trying to design the bikes that they want to ride and sell them to you, essentially. Uh, and also they have the benefit of buying stuff direct, so they're able to offer insanely good value bikes. Now this one isn't built to be good value, it's built to be an amazing bike and they just put the spec on it that just, they can basically. So it's an alloy frame, uh, there's five models and you get both 27 and a half and 29 inch wheel versions and also 130 mil and 140 mil versions. So you can just change the intention depending on what you want to do with them. Uh, you know, slightly more aggressive or slightly more racy feeling. So there's a VR, the VRS, the VRX and the AMP. Uh, the one on screen is the AMP. Now this thing, is a beautiful looking bike. I've uh, ridden this one actually, and the suspension on it is unreal. So something that's very cool about these bikes, yes, you could look at them as an entry point into mountain biking, but it's a frame that you can grow with. You could swap everything out and you could put the top spec stuff on it and the frame still fits it. It's really quite unique. Um, it's got all the full features on there you expect to see on much higher priced bikes. So you've got SRAM UDH on the back, you've got a uh, threaded BSA bottom bracket shell, so you know this thing's gonna be hanging around for a long time. So the upper shock mount now, it loses the DU Bush design that I had previously, and it's got a trunnion mount instead to the bearings on there. Uh, so just for that slightly nicer breakaway force on there, so a nice slick action. So there's four sizes available, and then the geometry on their sizes, head angle 65 and a half, seat angle 77.5, again like bang up to date here. Chain stay is 445 across the board and reach from 430 to 510 millimeters. So uh, both great on the small end and on the massive end there. And like many high-end bikes, the suspension platform in this has tuned the anti-squats. It's got quite a lot in the lowest gear uh, and it backs off through the gears to basically simulate. So the faster you're going, you're gonna be in a bigger gear basically and you want less anti-squat because you need the suspension to work better. So they've tuned that and you see that on much higher end bikes. So really cool. Uh, you just wouldn't know that the bikes as good value as they are. 
the Canyon Spectral 125 absolutely had to come into this category. Now, bear in mind that the Canyon Spectral, the standard one, does offer you mullet or 29 with 160 mils of travel, but I think the Canyon Spectral 125 is a proper trail bike that had to come into this category. Um, and it has that kind of, it's gonna eat down country bikes for breakfast, oh, isn't yeah. it? But that shorter travel will give you a much more poppier playtime feel. So check this out on screen. You can get this in four carbon models and two alloy models. It is 29er across the board with 125 millimeters in the rear and 140 up the front. But it is a very progressive rear suspension. If you like jumping or pumping or playing around, this bike will be a great choice for you. You've also got that flip chip in there where you can switch between the high and low mode. Um, and Doddy, you're saying if you run that high setting with a bit more sag, you can make it even feel like a, more of a standard spectral yeah. with the uh, 150 mil travel option. Um, you've got four sizes, geometry there. You've got head angle of 64 degrees. I mean, that's enduro territory, really. Um, you've got a seat angle of 76 degrees, chain stays of 437 millimeters across the board. The reach goes from 435 mils up to 511. That's whopping for uh, the extra large. Pricing starts from £2,499 and it does reach up to a whopping £7,449, but that is for the SRAM Axis Eagle, electronic gears, the flight attendant, and a limited edition gold paint job to match. So uh, yeah, it's a banging bike, isn't it? All the bells and whistles. <laughs> Atherton Bikes 130. Now, I've got to say, when G came down here to show me his original Atherton bike, it was it was really impressive, and what he told me about the, the company sounded great, but when I went to visit them, um, it just went into another level. So their bikes are manufactured from, uh, using additive manufacturing, um, essentially made from powder titanium using lasers, and the carbon is something a bit more similar to the racing yacht world than the bike world. These things are so futuristic, and they're designed exclusively and manufactured exclusively in North Wales by a tiny little team. Now, what they achieve is quite staggering in terms of the bike manufacturing process, and they actually have open days, which is definitely worth going along. If you're considering one, go on one of those open days, and you'll probably end up buying one once you meet the people that make your bikes. Now, Oscar, just one of the guys that worked there, who incidentally was one of Steve Jones's neighbors before he worked there, um, he said, just think when you love your bike, I loved it first. Um, which might sound a bit weird, but I think it says everything about the people that work there. They love the process of building the bikes, and that's kind of what you're buying into as a brand. So, Atherton 130 is trail focused, 130 on the rear, 150 up front. Uh, there's also a 140 mil option available to you there. 29 inch wheels, and it uses a DW6 linkage. Now, the DW6 performs like the DW4, but what it enables is them to design the bikes with different geometry and configurations, and the suspension will feel exactly the same on the smallest or the largest. Uh, it's quite a cool system there, and they've worked with Dave Weagle specifically to make it for this bike. Now again, carbon tubes, borrowing technology from the racing yacht world, uh, and you see what they make with those, those things, just unbelievable tech there. Uh, powdered titanium lugs there with the Renishaw machine that they have in-house in North Wales. And rather than having Shimano on there, it's got a SRAM component, so they're kind of choice picking the stuff that they think's best. So you've got the SRAM G2 guide brakes on there, and you've also got a GX Eagle on there as well. Uh, Continental Cryptotel tires on there, which are actually Atherton designed. Um, serious tech in those tires. And this bike passes downhill standards as well. Uh, this thing is seriously strong. If you're the sort of rider that really wants to give a bike some stick and doesn't plan on buying another one, uh, this could be the last bike you look at. Uh, it's got a lifetime warranty and there's 22 sizes. 22 sizes, Pl <laughs> plus custom as well, uh, should you be that picky that you need one. Um, I reckon just at a quick look, I'd be size 18 or 20, just saying. Uh, and geometry on the bikes as standard is 65 and a half degree head angle, uh, between 77 and 79 degree seat angle, because it changes size specific. 430 to 436 on the chain stays there and reach from 410 to 530 mil. Um, as it is with that spec, 6,995 euros um, as stock, the complete bike. But there's loads of options available to you. Uh, if you want it, pretty much, 
they'll build it. Wow, some amazing trail bikes there. That's making me want to go out and ride my bike. Um, and obviously we couldn't squeeze everyone in there. I mean, there's some banging bikes that are still out there, like the Nuke Proof Reactor, for example. I mean, it's not new this year, so we couldn't really squeeze it in, but it's still a banging bike, isn't um, it? Absolutely, one of the greatest, I think, actually. Yeah. Um, that Mondraker Raze, I, I still oh, love that bike. That, that line. Yeah, and everyone <laughs> loved it on the channel, didn't they? They certainly did. Um, I'm sure we've missed some out. I'm sure you might love some of the ones we've put in there. You might disagree as well. Um, either way, let us know, but they're the top five that we reckon are the hottest bikes right now in the trail category. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video soon.